Hello guys, welcome back to Mason African Motives uh, on Engineering Science N1 uh, revisions that we are going to take on uh, as we are revising question papers uh, that we have uh, from our past uh, papers that we had before. So we're just going to be focusing on such typical questions. So not wasting much of our time for the question paper, which was written in November 2022. That's November 2022. Uh, so we're going to focus on section A. All right, so this is section A of the paper that we are given, uh, and we've got question number one. So in question number one, we are given various options are given uh, that is as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer and write only the letter A to D next to the question number, that's 1.12, 1.5 in answer book. Okay, so on question 1.1, we are given uh, the first part where we've got uh, which one of the following is not a scalar quantity, is not a scalar quantity. So which means if it is not a scalar quantity, it's a vector quantity, okay? And a vector quantity is the one that has got uh, direction, okay? There is a magnitude and direction, all right? So which part? that he has got magnitude and he has got direction. All right, so we've got uh, velocity on number A here. Velocity, we know that it's given in meters per second and you can state the direction is it to the east, to the west, to the north. So this is a vector quantity. Potential energy, that's a, a scalar quantity because it's just given the unit, which is the magnitude. Work done, we just need the unit. Uh, kinetic energy is same as potential energy is the scalar quantity. So the answer in this case was going to be A, all right? Uh, we move on to 1.2. What is the magnitude of the resultant of the vectors shown below? Okay, what is the resultant? So take note, we are given two vectors which are in the same direction going to the, to the east. So remember, if we are referring to the east direction, that's a positive to the west, that's a negative. So these two, they carry a positive uh, in terms of the magnitude. So you're just going to add the two, that is uh, 50 plus 70, all right, which is going to be 120 Newton and 120, that's B. All right, so the answer there was going to be a B, 1.3. Which unit is used for measuring electrical current? Take note, uh, we, are, we are doing about the unit. So that's amperes, okay? So remember current is measured in amperes, like we've got five amps, we've got two amps and so on, okay? So that is the unit. So our answer there was a D. All right, 1.4, what is the work done by gravity? If a, if a 50 kg block is pushed along 50 meters, okay. So we are given uh, the distance and also the mass and we are asked to calculate the work done, okay? So take note that work done is equivalent to force times distance, okay? Which is we, we need the force here before the mass, right? Take note before the mass. So for us to find this force is going to be mg times the distance, all right? So that is mass times the gravitational acceleration. We've got a mass of 50 times the gravitational acceleration of 9,8 times the distance, which is 40 meters in this case, okay? So if we multiply this, we are going to obtain uh, something like, let me just show you the screen of our calculator so that we can see. Uh, okay, I think everything on the screen now, you can see it. All right, so this is what you're going to do on your calculator. That's 50 times 9,8 times uh, 40, like this. All right, and that is 19,600. So you're obtaining 19,600 uh, joules. Okay, which is not part of these solutions that we are given. We do not have 19,000. So which means on these solutions, there was no answer there. These answers are actually wrong. Remember, work done, that's force times distance. And here we are given mass. You do not multiply mass and the distance to say uh, 50 uh, times 40 like this. This is wrong, okay? So this is totally wrong, all right? So 
the answer of supposed to be 19,600. Okay, 1.5. The way it moves from hot coffee to cold milk is cold. Okay, so what is the, the, the movement of, of the, the heat? Okay, so we have got uh, the convection there. Okay, so that is a convection that is happening. Okay, uh, radiation is actually of the waves. Uh, the insulation uh, is something else where we are talking about uh, materials such as wood that do not conduct electricity. Conduction is something else. We are talking about materials which conduct electricity like iron, zinc, uh, and so forth. Uh, this was not part of the answer. So our answer there was going to be A. All right, so that was question one. Uh, let's see question two. On question two, we are now given to indicate whether the following statements are true or false by writing only true or false next to the question number. All right, uh, 2.1, the force of gravity acts only while objects are moving downwards, okay? Is this true that it acts only? All right, if we are referring to the force of gravity, we'll be referring to something, objects which are going up. So when the going up. That's where we are going to be having the force of gravity dragging this to go down. All right. So that is, this part is false because we are told that it's only moving downwards. It's supposed to be moving up, then it's dragged down. So this is actually false. All right. Then um, on 2.2, an electron is the smallest part of an element. Is that so? An electron is the smallest. No, it's an atom here, which is the smallest part of an element. So this is false again. All right, 2.3, displacement gives the shortest distance between the initial and the final positions of an object. That is actually true. All right, remember that displacement, you'll be given points like these ones, all right? Let's say we started at this point A, uh, this is B, this is C, and we ended at point D. Displacement is the distance that you are going to take from A to D direct. That is displacement. But distance is from A to B, from B to C, from C to D. That is distance that you're going to, to take. But displacement, the shortest distance that you have in between the starting and the ending point. So this is true. On 2.4, an insulator conducts electricity very well. This is a total lie. This cannot happen. It's a conductor which conducts electricity. So this is supposed to be a conductor. So the answer is false, okay? Uh, an alternating current keeps on switching direction. Okay, this is actually true because remember, it, uh, if you are given alternating, that's AC. It uh, works in the positive and also in the negative. So it's alternating like that. So this is actually true. All right. Uh, so that was question two, five marks for that. And you move on to question three, uh, where we are given, choose a term from column B that matches description in column A, write only the letter A to H next to the question number one, okay? So this is what we are given here. We have got column A and column B. All right. So on column A, 3.1, we are given force with which the earth attracts an object. All right, what is this force with which uh, it attracts an object? Okay, so that is the weight. Okay, so this here is the weight and weight is on what? On F, okay? So the answer was supposed to be F here, okay? Uh, the resisting power of a specific material, okay? That is the resistivity in this case, and resistivity, that is E, all right? The smallest part in which a substance can be divided without changing its identity. What is that? That's a molecule. Do we have a molecule? Yes, a molecule, we've got it on A. Uh, the degree of hotness or coldness of a body, that's temperature, I think this one is direct. So we've got a temperature. Force moving something through a distance. Remember, we have got a work done, which is equivalent to force times distance. So the force moving something through a distance is the work done, which is the work. 
So work that C. All right, so I think uh, these ones were clear uh, on question three. All uh, right, let's see question four. On question four, we are given choose one term from the list of the of each of the following descriptions. Okay, so I given these descriptions, then write it next to the question. So you choose your answer from these answers that you are given. All right. So four point one, influence with, okay, influence which when applied to a body, we will change or tend to change the state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line. What is that causes a movement or a, a, a certain change from the initial point or the motion? That is the force. If, uh, if a force is applied, there tends to be uh, a movement from what? From that part, which is the motion, okay? So here we've got a force. So the answer was going to be force. Uh, 4.2, the rate of change of displacement. Take note, this is uh, displacement over time. So displacement over time is equivalent to velocity, okay? So velocity is equivalent to this. And we've got, yes, velocity here. So the answer was velocity, all right? 4.3, the heat generated in an electrical circuit proportional to the square of current, the resistance and the time of current, okay? So we're given the heat generated in electric proportional to the square of current, the resistance and the time. So what is it? So this is actually uh, the, okay, we have got, uh, um, okay, that is the Joule's law, okay? Because remember, that uh, Q is equivalent to power times time, where power can be given as I squared times resistance, then times time. So this is the just because remember they are saying the square of current, the resistance or so the square of current, resistance and time. So that is what, that is uh, the energy being taken. So the energy is referred to as the Joule's law. So this is the Joule's law. All right, then 4.4, the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one kg with one degree Celsius. What is it? So this is a definition for the specific heat capacity. All right, so that's specific heat capacity. All right, so you've got specific heat capacity. All right, so that was the answer there on 4.5. The energy a body possesses due to its motion. Remember, motion, there's a movement. So that is the kinetic energy. Okay, the potential energy, it will be, uh, there will be no movement for this one. There's no movement at all. But once there's movement, then this is kinetic energy. All right. So the answer for this one was going to be the kinetic energy. Okay, so this was section A uh, of the question paper. You're having 20 marks. So we shall move on to section B, attempting each question by each, each question, question by question until we finish this question paper. So more questions are going to be uh, uploaded as we move on. So please, if you are new, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, Maison African Motives, and also to share our videos to your friends and colleagues so that they also can benefit from this channel that we have, a family channel, Maison African Motives, till we meet again.